human-wildlife conflict is a, um, a major driver of declines for lion populations and in fact large carnivore populations around, around the world. Farmers and other um, stakeholders that live alongside um, these protected areas um, suffer livestock losses um, and often don't have many tools to fall back on apart from lethal control and it's that sort of retaliatory killing of, of um, large carnivores and lions in particular that are um, driving these significant population declines that we're that we're seeing. The projects came around in 2015 um, when I was approached by some of these farmers who are having um, l big issues with lions predating their livestock. So in that region lions and livestock intermingle so the protected area is right next to the, um, the livestock area um, and a lot of these farmers' cows were being eaten by lions and essentially they, they felt there was nothing that they could do to protect their livestock. So I spend a lot of time watching, watching lions in that fortunate position and um, had noticed that uh, along with a lot of other people that um, lions are ambush hunters primarily so that means that they sneak up on their prey and uh, use the element of surprise to, to capture their prey. So we came up with the idea that we might be able to trick lions into thinking they'd been seen by the livestock by placing or painting eyes, fake eyes, on the rear of the, of the livestock. We painted um, the, uh, the backsides of a third of um, each herd. Um, we also, with the eye patterns, we painted a third of each herd with cross patterns, so a, basically a procedural control, so you do everything except, uh, everything the same except the eyes, and then a th the final third of the herd was left unpainted. And we basically um, then encouraged the farmers to do what they normally do, which is allow the livestock to roam freely during the day, and we counted with the student um, the the uh, number of each uh, group of cattle, each treatment, that survived um, over the painted period. Over the course of four years we painted um, 14 herds, um, each uh, with each treatment. I think we had 683 cows with um, eyes painted, um, around the same number with cross painted and again around the same number that were left unpainted. But ultimately we found that um, cows that were painted with um, eye patterns were more significantly more likely to survive than any other treatment. In fact we had no um, eye painted, no, no eye painted cattle, no eye cows um, predated or killed during the entire four year study. So in addition to providing the scientific evidence that this, this tool works, um, we've also been very keen to roll this tool out um, and make it available to anyone that wants to, to use it. We have produced um, a Setswana and English language guides, video guides of how to um, use the eye cow technique um, and also a pictorial guide. So with funding from Taronga Conservation Society, um, we've established a local community coexistence officer role um, and project and this tool will be um, in integrated into the non-lethal toolkit that, um, that he is um, pro providing farmers access to. So in producing this tool um, we're hoping that we'll get a lot of uptake and that um, farmers will be able to use this tool to reduce their reliance on lethal control and reduce the losses of livestock that they have which will have benefits to um, their livelihoods of course um, and also to lion populations which are in um, decline.